If you like this video please click on the like button. Comment with the names of the movies you would like us to cover next. Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest creations. We cover 100 movies from around the world every day. To advertise with our channel reach out to us. Our contact information is on our channel page. Now, let's move to the plot of this movie. The lost remnants of a British Army Brigade headquarters make their way through the Burmese jungle. Retreating from the Japanese, the group, numbering over 30, is led by Captain Langford because the most senior officer, a brigadier, is one of several who are wounded. The group arrives at a small village which is enemy-occupied. After a short but costly battle, the small detachment of Japanese soldiers in the village is wiped out. Single quote. Among the Japanese dead is a colonel. An unusually high-ranking officer to be with such a small group. The dead officer possesses a map with unknown markings. A Burmese man is caught trying to flee and he is revealed to be an informer employed by the Japanese. Lanford interrogates the man about the dead colonel and the map and when he refuses to talk. Lanford selects two men from amongst the villagers, saying he will have them both executed if the informer does not cooperate. The villagers plead for mercy and the doctor. A civilian correspondent named Max and the Padre angrily protest at Langford's decision. But the captain is unmoved. The two hostages are killed by Langford's men, prompting the informer to begin divulging what he knows. The map contains plans for a major Japanese flanking attack which aims to cut off the British army from its supply lines and leave it surrounded. Langford is anxious to send a warning. But the group's radio has been damaged. Langford orders Sergeant Mackenzie to execute the informer and then announces that the British wounded are to be left behind so as not to impede the group's progress back to Allied territory. The doctor, Max and the Padre are enraged by the decision. But the dying brigadier and the other wounded agree to remain in the village. The group's presence in the village is discovered by enemy scouts. So Langford decides to send Mackenzie, the doctor and two others back to British headquarters to raise the alarm. Thinking a smaller group will have a better chance of getting through whilst the remainder of the group will remain to defend the village and delay the enemy as long as possible. Langford offers Max and the Padre the chance to go with them. But they both refuse, suggesting that another two men go in their place. Mackenzie's group leaves the village. But it is soon ambushed and all in it are killed. Quote. Langford takes a party of men out to ambush the approaching Japanese. Leaving Lieutenant Hastings and the others to defend the village. The surviving Burmese evacuate. An English-speaking woman remarking bitterly to Hastings. Japanese. British. All the same. After a bloody engagement. Langford's group is all killed or captured. The enemy, using the POWs as a human shield, approach the village. But Langford shouts at Hastings to open fire. Just before the village falls, the radio operators manage to send out a weak signal from the repaired set to alert headquarters of the enemy's plans. Although it is not clear if the message gets through. The handful of surviving British are now all POWs. The Japanese commander, Major Yamazaki, who speaks English, demands to know about the missing colonel and the map, suspecting that Langford knows about the attack plans. Single quote. Yamazaki lines up all of the prisoners in front of a firing squad and informs Langford that unless he agrees to talk, the Major will order his troops to shoot them. Given just two minutes to make his choice, Langford bolts towards the transmitter in an attempt to signal HQ. But he is shot dead. Impressed by Langford's courage, Yamazaki bows to his corpse, saying, I would have done the same. 
whilst outside the Padre calmly leads the other prisoners in the Lord's prayer as they await their execution. The final image is a silent shot of the memorial cross located within the Kohama War Cemetery. The cemetery is located in Kohama City, the state capital of Nagaland, India. The Kohama epitaph on a plate of bronze reads, When you go home, tell them of us and say, For your tomorrow, we gave our today. Quote single quote.